Hey guys, welcome to another Ghost Recon Tactical video. In this one I want to talk about how you can install mods into Ghost Recon specifically for our Navy SEAL operations with the Wolfpack. But this mod tutorial can also serve for any modification that you'd like to install. So first thing, uh, I'd like to take you to our main forum webpage at Wolfpack Milsims. Uh, and as you can see, we've, we have a tutorial setup and I want to do an accompanying video with it. I'll leave the uh, links for the setup tutorial in there. Uh, essentially, it's pretty easy. Everything's available on Steam now, so you don't have to go out and get the CDs. Uh, Ghost Recon, obviously, you want to get the original uh, and just download that into Steam. It's $9.99. And then you also have uh, Desert Siege, which we'll be using as well, and that's $4.99. And the final one is uh, Island Thunder, which is also $4.99. So you get the whole package for about 20 bucks, and it really is a great investment. Okay, so I'll talk about um, basically in order you want to you want to activate them like this. And what you'll do is you'll you'll download our uh, Wolfpack Ghost Recon mods list here, which is only about 50 megabytes so not big at all and then uh, we'll go to the installation okay so I have it installed from the CD so it'll be a little bit different and essentially you'll have a mods folder and it's really uh, the developers made it very easy to install any type of mods uh, just you just basically drag and drop mods into this uh, folder here and when you download our Wolfpack uh, mod pack or any other modification on ghostrecon.net, which I highly recommend. It's the uh, premier Ghost Recon uh, mod hosting site out there. And you can uh, essentially drag and drop these into your mods folder. So just open up this mods folder and you're just gonna, you know, basically drag and drop all these into there. Okay, now I won't do it because I already have them installed. Uh, but you can see, uh, for instance, this flashbangs it will have equipment kits model shell textures those are all uh, folders that are found in your original uh, original game which this is the original game right here uh, anyway you just drag and drop them in there you can see I have a number of mods blood oil I highly recommend uh, this is actually a character in the background from blood oil uh, which is, a, is a amazing compilation of mods and just to give credit where credits due uh, this is my flashbang modification I was, that I just released, if you've been following the videos. Uh, Fogless was created by November Rain and uh, Gag Firestar. And it just takes away the fog layer of the maps. Uh, then you have Droopy's General Realism mod, which uh, is it just increases the dispersion of enemy uh, fire. So you won't get the one-hit AK Wonder or Sniper Fire from 500 meters. Uh, it makes it much more realistic firefights. So definitely want to have that. KP Sound Pack is just a uh, modification to the sounds and he adds some really cool echoes and, and things like that to, to the uh, gunfire. Uh, KP some is Cinervo, Sinner sorry if I mess up anybody's name. Navy Seals was created by uh, Piccolo and this is a very popular mod for uh, Ghost Recon. Actually you'll need this in order to run my flash flashbangs mod because it's only for version 2 of the Navy SEALs mod. Um, not a game. It's created by Doc Caliban. Thank you Doc for that. And Real Wounds uh, has no author so I'm not even sure where I got that from. I think ghostrecon.net. Uh, there's two more files in here and it's the original Ghost Recon EXE uh, here and then a modified one where you don't need the CD. Uh, you probably don't have to worry about these if you're installing the Steam version because the Steam executables don't require a CD, obviously. So they'll have something like that included. Now, if you are installing the Steam version, you'll need to go over to your Steam folder. And all of your uh, games are going to be in Steam apps, common. And then it's going to list Ghost Recon in here. And you'll basically do the same exact thing with this mod folder. If there is no mods folder, obviously create it. Um, and just drag and drop those in there. Once you get into the game, uh, you'll want to activate those, and you simply do that by going into Options, and then going into Mods, and activating them in a certain order. 
So from the ghost uh, recon.net page, activation is very simple. You simply go to options and then you go to the mods button and you're going to activate them in the following order. Uh, Desert Siege, Island Thunder, Fogless, Droopies, Navy Seals, KFE, Not a Game, Rear Wounds, and then Burner's Flashbangs. Uh, and you can only increase priority on these. It's a little bit tricky, and you'll figure it out. You can only increase priority, so you'll have to kind of shuffle them around until you get them in this exact order. And we should be compatible. The only last thing that you should need is Game Ranger. And you can simply go to the Game Ranger page and install uh, Game Ranger. It simply, uh, if, you, if you're hosting, it'll just launch your Ghost Recon game automatically. If you're joining, it'll launch it automatically. Uh, a lot like uh, the... the uh, launcher that we use for IL-2 uh, and it should get you right in game. You do need a port forward with this. So with Game Ranger uh, essentially it says it uses technology that bypasses most modems and routers uh, so it, you shouldn't have to configure anything but if you do you can uh, you can forward UDP port uh, 16,000 and you can also enable uh, the universal plug-and-play or UPnP. Now you don't really have to worry about this unless you have issues with it. Uh, essentially, you should just download Game Ranger. Uh, I'll host most of the time, or uh, whoever's hosting, and uh, and it'll launch you right into the game. Should have no problems. All right. So I hope that was a t good tutorial in how to get set up with mods and uh, how to get everything set up for the Wolfpack specifically. And I hope to see you guys on some ops in the near future. Burn around.